Welcome to Mrs. Kerner's class. Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs. Perna's class. Today I have a brand new member of the art department. Her name is Miss Pilla, and she is going to be working with us today to create our quartered circles for International Dot Day. So here's Miss Pilla to say hi. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Pilla. Okay, today we're going to take a square piece of paper. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our circle into a square. And as you know, you start by cutting the four corners off. Here we go. So, see, eight baby corners gives you something that looks like a pretty good circleish kind of shape. And ish is fine because we're not all perfect. We can't make perfect circles. No problem, as long as it's circle ish. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start making your beautiful dot design. You could start in the middle by simply cutting your circle in half, almost like making your own designer pizza. So we're gonna design our pizza and whatever I do to one corner section, I'm gonna try and do the other and see if I can create radial symmetry. Radial symmetry goes all the way around and it should look like every single pizza slice should look exactly the same. Oh, please do. Then? Go right ahead. You can add some lines coming out. Let's see, how many did I add? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that looks awesome. Wow, this looks like some cool microscopic creature now with those little, little hairs on it. Maybe you want to add swirlies. just some lines that follow along the center lines. Some, I love it. Oh wait, I'm gonna add this too. Go for it, go for it. Ooh, I like that. All right, I'm just gonna add some more color. I think I'm gonna add some kind of triangle shape here and actually color it in a little bit so that way we take care of some of that snow. Remember, just from kindergarten, no snow allowed. What does that mean? That means no white showing, no snow allowed. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it in half. And I'm pinch, 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 pinch. So we have the fold nice and crisp. You could take your fingernail and go up and down and make sure it is nice and creased and then fold it one more time so it actually looks like the pizza slice and crease it down. Now when you open this up, it will give you those invisible fold lines on the back and that'll make it easier for you to cut. So we're gonna cut them on the fold lines. And then we're gonna do something special to each one of these slices. you're going to go up to the supply table. You're going to pick yourself up a four by four black sheet. This is going to be our matte paper for today. We're going to be taking these beautiful designs that we have just created. And if you look, when you flip them, they might be a little different just because of how we folded it. But you know what? It's still going to be amazing when we do what we have to do. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your black paper. You're going to take your corners. If you want to see what it's going to look like, place your right angle. It's a 90 degree angle into the corners of your black paper like this. And we create a beautiful quarter square design. So check it out. So what we're gonna do, you flip it over using a glue stick. You're going to put some glue on the back and then match your angle with your angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure you press really hard so it stays really well. Press 
notch down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Miss Bill, why don't you sure. give it a try? See what you think. Let's see what this is like. So flip it over. Make sure you're using your paper. What do you call that, Miss Bruno? That is mar our marker pad. That's so we don't get a mess on our paper. A marker pad. I'm gonna have to create one. We're gonna put one here, corner to corner. Press down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, that looks great. So I think the last thing you'll need to do is flip it over one more time. Take your favorite color, metallic marker. Ooh, all right, let's see. I like the pink one. Yep, and go ahead and write your name on the back. I'll put Mrs. Pilla. And then you're gonna put your secret code. That's our International Dot Day project this week, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye.